What is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode we take another tour of St. Augustine and then we try to get our Florida residency done. And the keyword is try. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Doing, you're moving this all. Oh, sorry. So, as you probably saw in the video previous to this, we arrived in St. Augustine, and one of the things. Oh, that was so like. Well, as you can see. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to be more exciting with that? Well, not exciting, at least talk normal. What's normal for me, really? For you? Yeah. You're excited all the time. You're like a. Can, can you give me an ex example? You're like a little chihuahua. You're like. <laughs> What are we gonna do today? What are we gonna do today? <laughs> wow, like a little chihuahua. Do you hear the abuse I take, folks? Oh, this is not gonna get to the video. As you can see by the video, we arrived yesterday in St. Augustine. Yeah, that's a little too and much. That's a little too much. It has been an amazing time here. It hasn't, it's been raining. Uh, we tried to watch the launch from the beach the other night. Too far away, plus it was cloudy. I uh, haven't been able to kiteboard because when the wind is good, it's been pouring rain. I guess I could kiteboard in the pouring rain. It wouldn't matter because it's you're like going to get rain. wet anyways. Well, it's the lightning. It's not the rain. It's the lightning. lightning. Yeah. But the, the kite's not metal, so that wouldn't matter. But anyways, the weather hasn't been playing nice while we're here. So we're going to... But today is the first day yeah. that actually the weather is going to be... It's cloudy, but it's warm and it's not Not rainy. raining, but no wind. So we're going to head into St. Augustine, which we've showed before, so we won't show too much, but... Well, we're gonna go do a little exploring. Close there, so yeah, that is true. Museums and stuff like that. That is true. But we're gonna go walk around a little bit. Yep. I love San Agustin. I it's know beautiful. if you guys have ever been there, but if you have, you know it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Saint Augustine is on the Atlantic coast of northeastern Florida. It was founded in 1565 by Spanish explorers. It is the oldest continuously inhabited European established settlement in the contiguous United States. St. Augustine is brimming with history, from Henry Flagler's ornate hotels to the Spanish Renaissance Revival and Moorish Revival architecture, which you'll find by wandering the back streets. St. Augustine is an extremely cool historic city. Lots to see and do here. We're now down on what's called the Boat Basin. Wow, look at, like, you can just see thousands and thousands of clams. There's an area over here where you can kiteboard called the salt slick run and they recommend booties when you go in there and now I see why because that stuff could cut your feet oh Lori just saw a turtle salt water, so gonna be a well this is kind of brackish turtle. water it'll be a mixture of salt and fresh and see, like, this is the man Mat Matanzas there. River and you can you can see here people from the sailboats are over here with their dinghies hanging out That's a lot of muscles. If you love old architecture, a quick walk around the back streets of St. Augustine should be more than enough to whet your appetite. The homes and the streets are absolutely incredible. I really wanted to go back into the Fountain of Youth and get some more of that water, Lori. Because you didn't have enough three years ago? Yeah. Yeah, it took at least, uh, I don't know, two, three months off my life. That water was awful. It was terrible. So. Remember we have one sip and we just wanted to spit it somewhere. Yeah, it just tastes like 
sucking we on a like, rusty pipe. Yeah, we were like, oh, it doesn't gaze it works. It doesn't yeah. take it all. Yeah, it did, didn't seem to work. <laughs> I got older. <laughs> okay, we got one of those horrible rains in Florida and we just came out from a restaurant but Paul and God and pick up the car. So if you think I look bad or wet, I had to go a half a block to get the car and I'm drenched. It's Chris Chris was just saying the last time they saw us was at the RV thing and we were soaking wet and we leave soaking wet. It's true. Might be something to do with them then. Yeah, I think it's their, I think fault. It's their fault. We're going to blame it on Chris and Brenda Mills. Just remember that. If you guys hang out with them, you're likely to end it in rain. But oh my God, it's pouring Ooh, down. It that is pouring. It's crazy. It's because of a storm happening on the other side, on the other coast. That's why. Oh wow. Anyway. Is, oh, we need, really need our kayak, not the car right now. This I, is I might break my paddleboard ace on the back here. <laughs> I don't even know where the road is. I know, it's hard to see. Oh, there I am. Anastasia State Park is super handy to downtown St. Augustine and it allows you to do some great biking, hiking, kayaking, and even enjoy a little time on the beach. We are rolling out of Anastasia State Park. Yes, it was, it's a beautiful park, don't get me wrong. Like the trees and how lush it is. But we got here when it started raining, and we're living today that is sunny, but it has been raining all this time. So. Yeah. So the weather hasn't played nice in St. Augustine. Oh, we're not going that way? Oh. I didn't even think that I could go that way to make that left. I don't know what I, I was thinking. I just went the wrong way. I was too busy talking to cameras. But uh, we'll uh, do a turnaround up in here. So. Now we're going to head back down to the ranch at the Dotson Farm and we are going to fix our slide. For the last five nights, six days, somewhere around in there, we haven't put our slide out because once it goes out it doesn't want to come back in because it's cracked in the bottom. So kind of sucks. but. We'll go down there where Vic's got all the cool toys and tools and uh, get that taken care of. It is not going to be an easy fix by any means, but uh, we'll videotape it and see what happens. Sorry, we will uh, film it, audio, film it, record it, whatever. No video taping because there's no tapes. That's all we got, but we are we, we are going to make our way down there slow. We're going to stop for a little bit because we got to finish up our Florida residency stuff in Clay County. So that's the plan, man. We just arrived down here in Flagler Beach and we were gonna do two things down here. One, check in at our campground, but the second thing we wanted to do is go to the Flagler Beach Police Department and have our VINs checked on our vehicles so that we could get them registered. They said you just go to a police station and then they'll fill out a form for you. And as we pulled in, the skies opened up and the rains are coming down as you can probably see behind me and out the front window there. So we're definitely not walking into a police station to ask them to come outside and inspect the VINs right now. And this is supposed to last for the next two or three or four hours. So we're just going to hang out in the parking lot next to the police station and wait for this to go past because there's no sense of going over and trying to check into the campground at this point either. So again, one of the advantages of the uh, Class A is that uh, Lori's making us some lunch and we're just going to hang out here and enjoy the rain dancing on the roof. So Ozzy, are you enjoying the storm? Huh? Do you like the sound of the rain? Do you like the sound of the rain? Or does this bother you? It's when the thunder starts that you're gonna freak out. We have completed lunch here at the Flagler Police 
department and uh, the Flagler police signed off all of our paperwork for us, so that was very nice. Officer was awesome. And now we've got that stuff taken care of. That's really, really cool. And we don't have to worry about that again. Now we're gonna try and head over to the campground to get checked in before the rain comes down really bad again. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And we need to let the papers dry a little bit <laughs> because they got rain on. A short drive from Flagler Beach up over the intra-coastal waterway is the Bulow Plantation, where we will spend the next week at the Bulow RV Resort. right out here. Today we are rolling out of the RV park here in Flagler Beach or just outside of Flagler Beach. We're in Bulow RV Resort and we're heading up to the Jacksonville area or Clay County where we are finally going to get our Florida residency stuff taken care of. Ready? Oh, I'm ready. Cool. Yeah, so hopefully we're not missing that one paper or that one document. This is us. Of course we are. <laughs> I think I have everything. I literally have it in compartments and all pretty. And We will see. Time will tell. <laughs> Hour and a half drive and we'll see. We will probably do a separate video on the whole Florida residency process. It's really not that much stuff, really. But He's you have to have stuff, your butt but covered in certain ways before you yeah. can move it another way and so on and so forth. It's not that much stuff, but I still think like it's like if somebody can just like put the process in one video <laughs> and just easier, it's like just to do that. Instead We're not being, really good at that stuff. Instead of being going to all the websites and reading through and what it was. Right, right. Green Cove Springs is home to St. Brennan's Isle, a popular mailing service for full-time RVers and full-time boaters. typical dumbass fashion like Paul normally does. I didn't know that if we had a lien on the car and you didn't have the titles that it would take them three to four weeks to contact the lien holders to get the title in and then allow you to do all the registration and stuff. And they won't allow you to do your driver's license until you have the registration if you live in your RV. So no driver's license accomplished, no. no registration accomplished. Let's see if we can file our residency. Double Nothing style. accomplished here so far. Well, yes. There's hope. No filing our domicile thing either today. They give us this. So basically, they're not allowing people into the building unless your name is in the list or you're an attorney representing somebody. So since it's not the case, it's like uh, we need to call Paul, just call to see if we could get in. And what happened, Paul? I'm annoyed right now. Damn you, coronavirus! It's Gives just you so many options, but none of the options apply to yeah. us, really. And I told fourteen all, options, but ours ain't one. <laughs> and I told Paul that at the end of the day, this is something that we can actually through uh, do it through the mail. We just need to go to a notary and get it notarized and send it through mail. So it's not we have to be present. So we can get that done later. So next step, let's go to like actually find out where our mail address is, our home. I just want to go our eat. Our tiny, teeny home. I just want to go eat somewhere. We can eat, but let's go see our tiny I don't home. care about anything else right now but getting a hamburger. Not a hamburger. <laughs> a, uh, an impossible burger. Where's our, where's our mailing place? I guess you don't want to go there. We are in the cute little downtown here in... Green Cove Springs. We are on Walnut Street where our mailing address is supposed to be. And there's 409 and then there's 415. So I'm confused. Oh wait, wait, there's a little corner address up here. This is it. 
That doesn't give me a lot of confidence. It looks shady. It does look shady. So where is it? So right there, through that door, but I can't go in right now because of this whole coronavirus thing. That's where we uh, technically live. Kind of, sort of. That's where our mailing address is anyways. Not that exciting really. So got our mail picked up, so that's cool. And how's it feel to be at the house? We own the building. No, we just have like this little tiny slot this where this little, stuff like this box. this goes right there, and then that's yeah, that's all we have. It's like our apartment. It's it probably about six by twelve inch apartment in there somewhere. <laughs> at least it doesn't look that sketchy anymore. Well, no, it doesn't look as sketchy there as was, the other place. There was another person picking up their packages as well. So yes. It's not like yeah, yeah. Well, it's not, it's not scary here. It's just weird that the address is not anywhere near the address. I told Paul maybe it was expansion. They started at that location yep. and they just moved here because they have too many. There's a lot, not only full-time RVers, but full-time boaters. Yeah, they do address. boaters as well. So that is uh, probably what, exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to do this little business. And then all of a sudden it's like... We made it back to Flagler from our uneventful day up in Green Cove Springs. But we're finishing the day with a nice little kick back on the beach and Lori's trying to hide her coffee. She's got, coffee, her, yeah. got her coffee and a little well, straw there. We're not getting sponsored by them. So. No. Oh, well, you never know. <laughs> America runs on Duncan. But we're here at Flagler. Check it out. absolutely beautiful afternoon weather's perfect i don't know if the water is warm but the sand yeah, is warm it looks cloudy like if it was cool it's actually perfect right now the weather yeah it's probably mid 70s and just just awesome yep. and one of the nicer days we've had in a while so we figured we kick back quick on the beach kind of a last second decision rather than heading back to the rv so great end to a otherwise kind of fail day fail day <laughs> we definitely recommend a visit to st augustine at some point in your life it's a beautiful town we love that city we love the vibe we love the history of it i mean we love everything about it so from the florida from old florida i think that's one of the must stop places absolutely yeah one of the probably the must stop see city to see in florida see yeah i was gonna say because there's still the keys and everything a lot right. of places that are beautiful but this has as a historic and pretty charming this place is amazing yep in the next episode we're going to see it from a little bit different perspective so that'll be cool and we'll also get more into florida residency in a specific video about florida residency uh talk about our experience and some of the um, things that you want to make sure that you take care of before you Yes, we will go, go more into specifics in our video. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and just talk just specifically about that. Absolutely. But this is where we're going to end this one. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us. That means they have to. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It would be equally as cool if you liked the video. We'll see you again in the next episode. Bye, guys.